Hi there, this is Mark Schiff of Schiff's Riffs, and today I want to talk to you about the big questions in life. You know, who am I? What am I? What am I about? What am I looking for? Where am I going? These are huge questions in life. Socrates, he was famous for saying, for everything I know, I know nothing. Now, Socrates can talk about himself like that, but good old Sock, he was a big pain in the neck, and he went around asking other people and telling other people that they knew nothing. They hated him for it. He would walk up to people and go, you think I know nothing? You know even less. Eventually, they gave him some hemlock and poisoned him. I came from a very Socratic family. They would ask the big questions. My mother would ask me questions like, what do you think the way you think? This is a huge question, especially for a five-year-old. This is gigantic. How do I know? You know, I realized one day, even at a tender age, that if I didn't want my mother to ask me these questions, all I had to do was answer her. So she would say, why do you think the way you think? And I said, I think the way I think because I am who I am, and I think who I am is who I am, even if you think I'm not that person. My mother knew she was living with a lunatic at that point, and she didn't bother me anymore. My mother would ask big questions of herself, but not the gigantic questions. She loved hot coffee and cookies. She used to dip the cookie in the coffee, and the cookie would just fall apart in the hot coffee, and she would ask one of the biggest questions you can ask in life. Why does the cookie crumble? This is a gigantic, this is an unbelievable question. She never figured that answer to that question in life. And she died like a lot of people, unrealized, without the big answers in life. My mother also would ask other questions like, how come I always took an umbrella with me, it never rained? How come when I went to the dentist with a toothache when he called me in, the pain was gone? These are big questions she also never got the answer for. My father would ask questions of my mother. Why does she act this way? How come she always has a headache? He also died before I ever getting any of these answers. My teachers would ask questions. Why do you kids act the way you act? Why do I put up with this? She had a stroke before getting any of those answers. It's unbelievable. My old girlfriends would ask questions of me like, what did I ever, what did I ever see in you? What did I ever see in you? This is a gigantic question. If you can figure this one out, you can go on to have a great relationship. They never did. They got in trouble with 50, 60 other relationships down the pipe. That's just the way it is. You've got to be able to know who you are, when you are, and what you're doing in life. The important thing in life is not necessarily just the big, big questions, but to know you're a good person. That's what's really important. Like, for instance, if you have a dog, does your dog love you? If he does, if she does, then you're a good person. If you come home and you have a bird, and every time the bird sees you, he whistles and sings, then you're probably a good person. If you walk into a store in your neighborhood and people are happy to see you because you're a great customer and a good person, then you're a good person. This is what's important. So this is Mark Schiff for Schiff's Riffs. You can also go to my Facebook at www.facebook.com slash comedian Mark Schiff or go to my website, markshift.com. So this is Mark Schiff of Schiff's Riffs. Have a good life. Thank you.